soon, kids. I'm home. It's time to torture me. <laughs> Come on, let's hear the pitter patter of little feet. The thrusting of greedy little hands. <laughs> Hello. The kids are spending the night somewhere or other. And I'm going out for the evening. Thank you. <laughs> yes, dinner's on the table. <laughs> glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. And the Reds go marching on, on, on. Reminds me, the letter. Dear Eric Cantona, <laughs> I am about to watch you single-handedly humiliate those one-legged dipsomaniac hairdressers, otherwise known as Chelsea. <laughs> and I don't want to disturb you at such an important time, but have you given any more thought to this being French business? <laughs> there are numerous alternatives. I recommend being English. <laughs> Yours, Ted Butler. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. <laughs> and the Reds go marching on, on, on. I've got the whole house to myself. It's like I died and went to... I did! Hell. <laughs> your day, honey bun. Till now, great. You know, today will go down in history as the day when nothing went wrong. Yeah, the lights were green all the way to work. Then I managed to miss the Chris Evans show on the radio. Or, oh, best of all, some miserable old so-and-so came into the shop and shouted at me. But then he went out and got bitten by a guide dog. <laughs> and tonight, you're going out, and I'm snuggling up to Eric. No, I'm not going out. I went to a Tupperware party at Betty Thompson's, but she tried to sell me some Tupperware, so I left. Am I missing something? Well, I thought Tupperware party was cold. Last time I went to a Tupperware party, I bought a suspender belt and a peephole bra. <laughs> In fact, why don't I go and put them on? The kids are out, we could have some fun. <laughs> we do that now, Pam, and your birthday won't be special. <laughs> No. Tell you what, though, you can get me some crisps. No. But how about this? Sex in exchange for crisps. No. I'll give you a fiver. What the hell? This will last longer than the sex. I chucked it. So where are the crisps? We've eaten them all. I bought six packets of cheese and onion. Lee's a growing boy. He needs breakfast in the mornings. Well, what about the salt and vinegar? Well, Nicky can't go to school on an empty stomach. <sighs> I don't care. I've got the game. I've got my beer. I've got my woman. <laughs> well, at least the kids are out here. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mum. Oh, I thought you were seeing Debbie tonight. I was, but her dad caught me and broke my binoculars. <laughs> oh, Jack. How's work? Who cares? How was school? Who cares? That's my boy. <laughs> now, shut up. It's nearly time for kickoff. Hi. I thought you had a date. I did. Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Who was your date with? HMS Invincible. <laughs> oh, you know those people from number 22? Well, the two gentlemen with the chihuahua and the antique shop. Yeah, they just won this karaoke competition. Oh, yeah? What did they sing? Mincing back to happiness. <laughs> you are so homoerotic. <laughs> anyway, they won this ball. 
Porsche. It's the third Porsche in the street. It goes Porsche, 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 Cortina. <laughs> yeah, but you know why, don't you? Leech, 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 wage earner. I think your father wants us to thank him for keeping us barely above the poverty line. Still, at least you'll get a pay rise when they introduce a minimum wage. <laughs> I'm not the wage earning type. Could never be a working girl. <laughs> yes, you could, believe me. <laughs> just, just hang on a minute. With what I earn, I keep you in bleach, I keep you in binoculars, I keep you instead of someone I'd rather be married to. <laughs> and I pay my national insurance for a nice little pension at the end of it all. At school, they said by the time you retire, there won't be any state pensions. You're not going to come and live with us, are you, Dad? <laughs> Did I tell you today that I love you? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> So why should I choose to live with you when I can sleep rough and die of exposure? Oh, I wonder who that is. Oh, God, it's Steve and Judy. Oh, look, it's Steve and Judy. Hello. Hey, Ted, ask me what happened today. I'm too busy loving my family. <laughs> Lee, ask me what happened today. You found out why everyone called you Baphead? <laughs> Mickey, why didn't you ask me what happened today? I can't talk to you. You're over 30. <laughs> Pam, I'm begging you, please, ask me what happened today. What happened today? I became branch manager. Steve got promoted. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Did you hear that, Ted? Steve got promoted. <laughs> Aren't you going to congratulate him? I'm too busy hating my neighbours. <laughs> Steve's going to be making a lot more money now. Guess what's under my arm? Shaving rash? <laughs> a lot more money, Ted. Anyway, I got these brochures. I'm going to buy a new car. One that makes a statement that says, why is he living next door to those people? Oh, I love you. I love you. Mm. Oh, I'm so proud of him. <clears throat> Come and tell me what that feels like. <laughs> now, Ted, you know all about cars. I've narrowed it down to either a Volvo, a Mercedes or a BMW. Which would you get if you had any money at all? Well, a BMW's a driver's car. But then again, if you're driving to a wall, a Merck's got airbags. <laughs> I think you should go with a BM. <laughs> What's the matter, Ted? Have a bad day? Nope. Because I'm about to watch Ooh, Ah, Cantona. I said Ooh, Ah, Cantona. As you can see, there are puddles all over the pitch. The ground's completely waterlogged. <laughs> Well, really had no option other than to postpone. Ooh, no, 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 you're not. I said, Ooh, no, no, you're not. You know, it's hard to believe that ten minutes ago I was very nearly happy. It's quite hard to describe. It's a feeling of, you know, being really glad I'm married to him, admiring him. Looking forward to him coming home. Well, you must know the sort of thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pam. I'm not sure what colour to get it in. I was thinking maybe black. That'll attract the women. Steve? We'll all see that I'm a one-woman man. <laughs> Are you a man, Steve? <laughs> oh, by the way, Judy's away tomorrow night. Her mother's thinking of remarrying and Jude's driving up to run a quick credit check on the boyfriend. So, uh, could you give me a lift home from work? Why don't you ask a friend? I don't want to put any of them out. <laughs> Come on, Jude. Let's go and buy something. Oh, I love it when you talk spending to me. <laughs> you know, I don't believe it. Everybody in the world is making money. Oh, that's not true, Ted. You're not. <laughs> You're my rock, Pam. You're my albatross. Look, Ted, <laughs> you're still a young man. And there'll still be plenty of chances for you to make it big. <laughs> That's very sweet of you, Pam. A man couldn't ask for a better wife. <sighs> <laughs> OK, give me the money. <laughs> all of it, all of it. I'm prepared to use this, darling. <laughs> What are you doing, Ted? Oh, just thinking about a change of career. Don't you have to have a career before you can change it? Do you know, I've never been in a bank after hours. Oh, well, this is where it all happens. Do you know, this is my favourite place and my favourite time. 
People talk about the pyramids at sunset, but give me a bank after five o'clock. <laughs> it's the cathedral of capitalism. Can you hear that, Ted? That's the sound of interest accruing. <laughs> well, there won't be a second. I've just got a few last-minute managerial duties to fulfil. Friday's always our busiest day, so I've got to put out these position closed signs. <laughs> yes, well, hurry up. All right. Won't be long. Just got one more car loan to approve. It won't take long. It's mine. Yes! <laughs> all right, Ted, all done. I'm ready, Ted. Ted? Yeah, I'm in the cash point machine. Oh. <laughs> the cash point machine? <laughs> Ted, are you mad? OK, I'm just, uh, just having a look around. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Ted, you can't touch this. This is money. Only members of the board can play with the money. And, of course, their mistresses. Oh, Steve, come on. What harm will it do? Just have a little game with it. Ted, no. <laughs> OK, I'll... See... <laughs> Your five thousand <laughs> and raise you this banker's draft. <laughs> okay, what do you got? Suck on this, my little chickadee. <laughs> A king high. Ace is Ted. Four of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these banker's drafts. <laughs> Is it natural for me to be this turned on? <laughs> oh, yes, Steve. I... Money's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Feel it. Go on, yes. Play with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just think, this little piece of paper is worth one million pounds. Isn't that just the sexiest thing? <laughs> Steve, I've got an idea. I bring the car round, we load it up and we head for Switzerland. Well, it means driving through France. Well, we've got a long way via Sweden. What about Judy and Pam? Who? Oh, them. Well, we, we could ring them in about ten years. Oh, I can't do it. Why not? I just can't. Oh, Steve, think about it. They have Mercedes in Switzerland, you know, great big ones, yeah. And fondues, hmm. And, um, and... Well, maybe we could just stay in Sweden. And we will see our wives again? Oh, of course, yes, at some point. OK, you get the car, I'll sort out some Swedish currency. Yes. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on a minute. This is ridiculous. Look, it's insane. It's illegal. Look, come on, Ted, let's just calm down. Look, it's going to take me half an hour to clear all this up. You go on home, I'll get the bus. <laughs> Look, Ted, we've had our fun. Yeah, you're right. Back to reality. <laughs> I can see it all now. Ungrateful redhead. Rotten kids. <laughs> Don't forget the horrible house. Horrible house. <laughs> Get in, job. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Looks like the end of the road for us, baby. I'm going to miss you. I think we should be very proud of your father. He's just cost us the only chance of happiness we'll ever have. <laughs> Tell you this, the man I marry, he would have taken that money. Leave Dad alone. Do you think he doesn't know he made the biggest mistake of all our lives? As I said to Steve, it's illegal and it's wrong, and I don't want any part of it. What was it like in there with all that money? Oh, wonderful. Wealth, wherever you looked. Oh, Ted. And as I looked at it, I thought, how if I did take it, you, me and the kids could go to Sweden and live the life we deserve. Oh, Ted! OK. There's a million pounds missing. Where is it? Oh, yeah.